Hi guys, welcome to this session in Google Sheets. In this module, I want to show you how to create a very simple budget. First of all, I'm going to start off in cell B2 and type MON short for Monday. Now, you don't need to type Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because you can just sit your mouse in the bottom corner there and just pull that across and it will drop the days of the week in for you. And I'm just going to type total at the end and then give ourselves some categories. Start with car, tax, gas, electric, food, and water. And then we'll have a total as well. So you can do as many categories as you want. Let's go for average, max, min, and count. So they're the most common functions that are used in Google Sheets, these. And they live on the sum function there. Look, you can see them. Those are the top five. You've got all these as well, but they're the top five. And that's what I want to go through. So the title for this is going to be weekly budget. I want to merge that across the top. So I'm highlighting across the top. And then this little button here, merge cells, makes that into one cell. And then I want that to sit in the center of it. So merged and centered it. And I also want to put borders on this. So I've got borders here. I'll select that option. So all borders. And then this area, Monday to Friday down to water. I want to color that in yellow or whatever color you want, really, but yellow. So that's where the data is going to go. Outside of that is where the formulas are going to be. And I think I'll do percentage as well percent and we can just pull highlight that across and just put the borders on that a little bit okay let's put some figures in there let's say we spend 10 pound every day on our car so click on 10 get the little black cross pull it over 10 10 10 10 let's say we spend five on a monday and it goes up by five every day so we'll do 10 and five uh, five and ten highlight the two of them get the little black cross pull it over it picks up that step value and increments by five I'll do that again for gas let's go one and seven let's say that's the step value that you know that it increments by you highlight the two get the cross on the second one pull it over and it, it jumps by that step now let's say everything else in this little table is going to be 10 so I'll just type 10 I can pull it down let go and then I can pull it across and then let go fills it all in like so now I want all of this to be formatted, all of this yellow area to be formatted to pounds. So I'm just going to click this little pound sign and then it formats everything to pounds. So that's how I want this to sit. Now to add up this list, I'm going to use the sum function. I've already shown you where that is. It's over here. You can type it, but I'm going to click on it and then just select the range that I want it to look at, which is basically the yellow area for Monday. So B3 to B8, that's what I want. Press and enter on that. And then it's automatically filled these in. Now, let's just see what this is doing. If I just tick this, 82 is sum. And then that's sum. So basically, I don't really want that because that's adding up this list and the total. And then that's adding up. It's just incrementing everything as it goes down so good idea but not for me get rid of that the 46 is what i do want so i'm going to pull that across to friday and then i'm going to do the row totals same sort of thing sum select the row that you want it to look at press enter comes up with a tip again so i do want it down to there is correct so i will tick that and then i can delete all these zeros at the bottom because i don't want that to sum just a short way of pulling that down. I don't need, to, if that was 10,000 rows, I don't need to drag it down all that way. So now average is in this list, average. And I'm just going to highlight the same list. Press enter. Check in it. I'm going to ignore that this time. Pull that over. I want the max. Max. Check in it. Highlighting the list I want, B3 to B8. Pull that over. Min. 
So the process is the same. These are the same, it's the same structure, the same syntax, except the word in each case is just slightly different. So that's min, pull it across. I could have pulled all these across as a group, but never mind. And then count, I want to know how many, how many items is in this list. So count is in this use, um, commonly used functions there. Count five items. So all of that is very simple and easy to do. Now where it gets slightly different is I want to know what this 46 pound is as a percentage of the 340 total on the week and then what is 57 and 68 etc as a percentage. So this is not a function I'm going to go equals this cell divided by the total cell so that's B9 by G9. Now if I just press enter on that I'll get a number less than 1 but I need to format that to a percent. So up here you've got the percent option. Click on that. It comes up with 13.53. If I just get the little black cross and pull it across, we're going to get an error message coming up here. Div 0. It's telling you you can't divide by 0 because if you click on this cell, it says C9, which is the total for Tuesday, divided by H9. H9 is a blank cell. There's nothing in H9, and this is going to say I9. Basically, it's moving the cell reference across because it's a relative cell reference as you pull it over. Now, there's two ways of fixing this. You could manually type that C9 by G9 and then D9 by G9. It wouldn't take you too long because there's only a few, well, five. It's not going to take you too long, but think of a bigger spreadsheet. It could take you quite a while. So there is a quick way of doing it, and basically what we need to do is tell the computer not to move cell G9 across when we pull it over. And to do that, you need to click up the top there and press the F4 function key on a key on your keyboard, which will put dollar signs around the G, well, in front of the G and in front of the 9. In this example, we actually only need it in front of the G, but if in doubt, put them both on with the F4 function key. Be careful if you've got a laptop because the function keys might be on the on the FN key. You might have to hold the FN and then the F keys. Depends how your laptop's configured. But you can actually type those dollar signs in if you wish. But if I just press enter on that and now go to pull that over. Went too far. That'll work for me. There you go. So if I do that again, coming down. So what is £50? As a percentage of this, I'll do it all together this time. So it equals this cell, which is G3, divided by this cell, G9. I know that I'm going to pull that down, so I'm pressing F4 right now. I'm then going to check it. Yep. Press Enter. It's filled it down for me. I will have it. I'll tick that because it's correct but not formatted to percent. So I'll just highlight it and click on the percent button. And then all this down here is rubbish. And then I haven't got the borders on this bit. So I'll just put the borders on that bit. Borders. That one. And then this one. Probably need to merge that across. Again. Merge. And it's already centered. So that's okay. So that's all I want you to do in terms of formulas. But now what I want to do is put a graph on this or a chart on this, whatever you want to call it. So I don't want all of this information. I just want the total. So let's see if I can do this. Highlight the days of the week. I'm holding my control key down and highlighting the totals. So that's the categories that I want. And then I'm going insert chart. And then let's see how that works. So I'm not liking how that looks. So let's just have a look at adjusting some of this. So we've got combined regis horizontal. Let's change that to vertical. And let's use that option. Switch columns and rows. And then we get the days of the week, which is what I selected, and the totals. Now, if I want the categories, let's just move this over. Let's select something slightly different. So if I select the categories this time, Hold my control key down and then the totals. Go and insert a chart so I get a different look at it. The chart drops in. It's done a stacked column chart. 
and then you've basically got to there's the categories across the bottom but it's giving you this each day along the top there so let's have a look at this so it's stacked column what happens if I just put it to a a normal column chart and that's a bit heavy as well I'm not not liking that let's have a look coming down switch rows and columns no use row one as headers no okay what's happening here this look, must be looking a bit better so a car each day of the week tax each day of the week well, that's okay I quite like that one so I'll just leave it as it is there but basically you have to play around with these settings to get the graph to look how you want it to do how you want it to look so you've got the days of the week this is a legend at the top this is probably clearer to look at but it's totally up to you but that's all I want to talk about in this little video how to create a simple budget in Google Sheets so thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one